We have now learned a lot more about the arrest of one of our state lawmakers from over the weekend. Representative Georgine Lewis from Albuquerque is facing DWI charges. So we want to get to Chris Ramirez, who is in Santa Fe at our roundhouse. Chris, you read through those police reports. In that court filing, I mean, Representative Lewis admits to drinking vodka before getting behind the wheel. Yeah, it's actually, you're right about that. Representative Georgine Lewis faces four charges. As you mentioned, the most serious one of them, aggravated DWI. In this police report, the officer states Representative Lewis was speeding on St. Francis and admitted to having two or three alcoholic beverages. In a newly released police report, a Santa Fe police officer stated he clocked Representative Georgine Lewis driving 62 miles an hour on St. Francis near San Mateo. That's an area where the posted speed limit is 45. She pulled over nearby at Seringo and Calle Navidad. The officer wrote, I asked Ms. Lewis what was the reason for driving so fast. Ms. Lewis indicated that she just wanted to go home. She admitted consuming two or three alcoholic beverages, vodka, before driving about two hours before the stop. The officer stated she failed a field sobriety test and blew a .17, more than double the legal limit. Additionally, the documents state she could not find proof of insurance and had an expired vehicle registration. The officer booked Representative Lewis in the Santa Fe County Jail. She was released and arraigned where she pled not guilty. The Representative Lewis is the chairwoman of the House Government Elections and Indian Affairs Committee, but she did not show up on Tuesday morning. Madam Chair Lewis. She is excused. Forcing somebody else to chair the committee in this last week of the legislative session. Lewis is scheduled back in court in mid March where she will face charges for aggravated DWI, speeding, driving without insurance, and without a proper vehicle registration. And again, Representative Lewis has not been here in the roundhouse. She wasn't here yesterday. She has not been here today. No word yet if she's going to return at all before the session ends on Thursday. Now, guys, Republicans have called on her resignation, but it doesn't sound like she's going to do that. She released a statement via her attorney yesterday. And in that statement, it stated in part that she is sorry, she's regretful, she accepts responsibility for her mistake, her words, but she wants to work hard to regain the trust of her constituents. We're live in the Roundhouse. I'm Chris Ramirez, KOB4.